Hey everybody, so this is going to be my first official video about um, uh, food, um, like a healthy lifestyle. Um, I'm right now currently um, trying out vegan, vegetarian. I'm trying to really <clears throat> go 100% vegan. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's been difficult. It has been. Um... I've even slipped up and ate meat a few times, so, um, dairy seems to be the big problem, um, key ingredients, sour cream, like, key, key problem products, I should say, um, like, certain creams and, um, coffee, uh, sour cream, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, I mean, those are just a couple of the things um, that I'm having problems with, um, mainly. So, um, it's Sunday, and I'm going to try to do a video on food every Sunday. Um, I was going to food prep today and do the whole meal thing, but I decided not to cook today just because I still have food, um, so I'm probably going to do that tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to do a video of some items that I have found and all of these items are vegan friendly um that i feel like are really good solid staples to keep in your house um, um they might be a food by themselves to eat a snack um a base food to make many kinds of dishes um drink snacks just a variety of things so i'm going to go over those i'm going to start with um dry and um dry products first canned um non-refrigerated products basically um so yeah let's just dive right in so let's start with snacks snacks um some good things to keep around for snacks are nuts um this is just one in particular um a blue diamond makes um flavored nuts now this one is sweet thai chili um so Nuts are definitely a good thing to keep on hand. This is kind of like a uh, salty, spicy. And then also um, I have these oven roasted almonds and dark chocolate. This is really good for like if you have a sweet tooth. Because um, they are, they're not overly sweet. But they are um, sweet enough to take care of that. And since we're on the nut let's go right into walnuts walnuts are amazing um i like to incorporate these at least once a day because of the omega-3 um and it actually says that right there on the bag and um, um i usually add these to either nice cream which is a banana based um a frozen treat um, basically you freeze bananas and then you um, grind it up in your processor to a creamy consistency um, and I will add like walnuts to that um, as well as some vanilla extract to make like some banana walnut ice cream but I mainly put this in my cereals of the morning and what I do with my cereals while we were talking about that was I make up these little bags. Um, I have a good mixture of stuff in here right now. Like I got some golden raisins. I got some Ezekiel flax cereal. Cinnamon. Um, unfrosted shredded wheats. Um, uncooked rolled oats. And then another like um, brand flake brand. Ba made my Uncle Sam's. Um, I actually got this recipe, and then the walnuts are in here too. I got this recipe from the Fire Engine Diet. Um, so if anybody's interested, that's where I got that from. Fire Engine 2 Diet, I believe is what it's called. Um, but you can Pinterest it, the recipe's there. And I just make these little baggies up um, in a serving size. So I just dump them in my bowl of the mornings and add unsweetened almond milk and then I usually add a banana or whatever fresh fruit I want to add to it. It's really handy. I usually do 70s a time for a week. 
I don't always have cereal for breakfast, um, so they may last longer than that. Um, but it's just really nice to have them on hand. Um, something else that I just started doing, since we're still on nuts, is I got some cashews. I actually got two containers of them. I left one container whole, and I went ahead and I ground it a whole other container up to where it makes like, I just washed my hands so they're clean. Um, it makes like almost like a grated cheese consistency and that's exactly what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to use this in place of where I would put cheese, like um, Parmesan cheese um, and different things like that as a flavored topping. Um, I might even throw some of this on a pizza when I make it. Um, but I'm not sure yet about that. But I did um, put this on my eggplant parmesan. Um, I kind of put it on top of the eggplant um, when I heated everything together. Um, but I think the next time I'm actually going to um, probably put either a little bit of olive oil on the eggplant when I roast them in the oven or some vegetable stock so I can get this to stick to them and um, and kind of crust them on to the eggplant. Um, so I'm going to play around with that, but I just thought I'd go ahead and grind the whole container up so that way it's it's ready to go. I just take, you know, teaspoon or measuring spoon, whatever in there and just add it to what I want to. So I'm all about convenience. Like I like to have stuff ready. Um, I think that's all of the nut things that I had to say. So nuts are an important part of a vegan lifestyle. You should always have some on hands for snacks, um, for toppings, um, to add to other stuff. Um, they're just a good solid staple and they have a lot of vitamins and minerals. Like I said, the vegan thing is new to me. Um, I'm not saying that I know everything about it. Although I have did a lot of research. I have a notebook. Um, I got a couple, I got a book on audio that I listen to and take notes on. Um, I'm going to order a book soon. Um, and then of course I've researched a lot on Pinterest and I follow a lot of people on Instagram. So, um, but this is just kind of stuff that I have come upon myself that works for me. And I know how difficult it is starting, and um, that's why I'm still in the beginning stage, and these are some things that I've found, and if I can help someone out, then that's great. Um, so the seeds I have, which I actually haven't used these seeds yet, but like um, before I even went vegan, I seen these and I wanted them, um, hold hemp seeds, because they just look so delicious. Like, seriously, the seal's not even broken on this, like, so I need to break the seal on that. Um, but these are really good in Omega-3 as well. Um, I see me putting these in, on as, um, garnishes, um, for dishes, basically. Um, this, this was kind of pricey. It was, like, I actually got it at Walmart, and it was, like, 14-something. But, um, the serving size on this is two tablespoons um you know so it's just going to be used for garnish so this will last for a long time um this is something you know if you don't want to have these then have some kind of seeds um the this was another one i got this was actually really inexpensive it was like four something flax seed is really good um it's actually Four tablespoons for a serving size so again omega-3 super packed with vitamins and stuff um, so yeah these are some good ideas to use for like toppers I have used this I put some of this on top of my um I put it in a couple things I think I put a little bit in my cereal um, I've also put some in my on top of my hummus so it was really good and I think, um, I think that's the only things. But yeah, so get yourself some seeds, definitely. Um, whatever kinds you want. This is also chia seeds. I actually got this at a discount store. Um, 
but I had another kind, but they expired because I got into them a long time ago when I was doing like whole food eating. Um, again, this is another, this is a good source of fiber, omega-3 and iron. Um, I'm going to start making chia pudding um, or like chia pudding smoothies. Uh, so I haven't cracked into these, but I have used chia seeds before, so I know how to use them. Um, I've actually got some unsweetened coconut milk that I'm going to use to make my own chia pudding. Um, there's other things that go into it as well, um, some spices and stuff, um, different things you can do. Just um, search for recipes on Pinterest, chia pudding, um, and it's super easy. Again, um, I always kind of put my own spin on things, so make it your own. So that's another main staple to have in your house. Um, let's go ahead and get into, well, we're kind of doing snacks, so let's go ahead and go up with these. Um, I found these at Food Lion, and I accidentally grabbed the same flavor, but I actually have different flavors. They were like, I want to say eight for a dollar, super inexpensive, but these are like fruit roll-ups, but, um without all that extra added stuff in them that we all know that fruit roll-ups have. Um, this is, um, all sugars come naturally from fruit and fruit juices. It's 100% fruit strip, um, gluten-free, nut-free, and vegan. So it's fruit called fruit to go. And I've actually had one of these and they are really um, delicious. They actually are little um, strips that you can pull, kind of like Twizzler pull and peels, or you can just kind of eat it um, like a, a big strip. But yeah, really inexpensive. I found this in the produce department at Food Line. I haven't really seen them anywhere else, but I haven't really looked for them either. Um, these were kind of out in the open on a sale, so that's how I found those. But these are these will be great for snacks, like um, to carry in your purse and stuff. And that's why I have them. I like grab and go snacks if you're out for the day or throw them in a lunchbox to go with you. Nature Valley. Um, and I actually got the wrong one. Um, these are still some leftover from before I started the vegan. Um, there are two kinds that are vegan friendly. The Pecan Crunch and... The peanut butter, I think. Yeah, the pecan crunch and the peanut butter. Um, but again, if you Pinterest it, it'll tell you which ones. Um, it'll come up with a list of stuff that's vegan friendly. That's how I found out about these, and I was really happy because I eat these a lot. Um, this oats and honey one, of course, is not vegan friendly. Um, I grabbed the wrong one out of my protein, my little basket up there. I meant to grab the peanut butter one. But, um, so be careful about that. Some are vegan, some are not. And they do not tell you, like, on the back whether they are. So, I just happen to know from doing research. Another good thing, you can throw in your purse to go. Um, I use these. I crunch them up and put them on top of, um, yogurt. Or, I just eat them by themselves. That's pretty much it. This is another um, good snack that I found. I had never eaten figs before. I had eaten dates, which dates are another good thing. The pitted dates um, are another good thing to have. You can eat those as a snack, um, or you can grind them up in a protein shake. Um, I don't have any. I'm out. I need to buy some this week. So there's something good, but the dates are good too. I mean, the figs are good too. Um, good source of fiber, cholesterol free food, and it'll, you know, it's good for like, um, if you have a sweet tooth. And I found these where the raisins are in Walmart. Um, they have, not all dried food is good for you, fruit. Um, some of them have like added sugar and stuff, but these don't, and they're just naturally, they're kind of like a date. So if you like dates, you'll like these. Um, 
next up, I'll go ahead and show you this. The matcha. Um, I have not used this yet. I bought this off Amazon. Um, I got it to make like, um, like, I'm not going to make bubble tea. I'm probably just going to throw this in with some unsweetened almond milk and shake, kind of like a protein shake. I might even put it in with my protein shake mix. Um, so yeah, because it doesn't have any calories or anything, so I could add that in just to have the flavor. If you've never had matcha before, it is like, um... It's the it's a it's a green tea. Um, it has a slight subtle um, vanilla taste. It's not too sweet. It's not overpowering in vanilla. It's just really good. Like I really like it. Um, it's just a good alternative for um, like if you want a smoothie or you want a shake or something, um, and you don't want something fruity. Um, that would be this. And it is, you know, of course, vegan friendly. And this is not something I would have every day. And it says right here you could add for smoothies, lattes, baking, and recipes. Um, but I know this is a really good superfood. Um, and I, I've bought it. Um, I've gotten it in ready-made drinks, but I haven't did anything at home with it. Um, so I'm excited to do that. This was actually pretty expensive. It was $9.95 for this. I don't know how many servings are in here. It says there's 30 servings. So I guess that's not bad. Because like I said, it's just something I'm going to have every now and then. It's not going to be something that I um, have every day. But it is a type of green tea. And green tea is something you should have every day. But I also drink green tea. So if I would have this, then I wouldn't have my green tea, basically. And since we were talking about green tea, let's uh, go ahead and talk, um, show you this. This is just uh, one particular kind. Um, I get the decaffeinated because I drink coffee, so I try not to get a lot of caffeine. Um, so, if you don't drink coffee, you can always get the caffeinated kind. But green tea is important. You should have um, you know, 8 to 16 ounces a day. It's just a really good superfood. Um like I said, you know, the matcha, that's what the matcha is too. So, I mean, I guess really, if you just have one cup of tea, you can almost have a smoothie too, but um, it just depends on how big your cup is. Um, I would just do one or the other. I wouldn't want to overdo it. But yeah, this green tea is good stuff. And you don't have to do hot. I mean, you could get like cold. They have ready-made too, um, if you don't want to make your own. The unsweetened kind. Um, honey, I love honey. I like putting honey in my tea. This is a honey that I ordered online. It's a bee free honey, um, and mint. And it's the website is actually like if you just search bee free honey, it'll come up. But it's made from apples, so it's uh, yeah, it's actually beefreehoney.com. It is made from apples. And it's not bad. Like, um, I was using the mint in my green tea, um, and it tastes really good, you know, because it's got a mint flavor plus an apple fa flavor. Um, I got two jars. I got this in the original jar. They had, like, a duo package that you could pick what you wanted. I want to say it was, like, around 15 bucks, um, 15, 16 bucks. So, that wasn't bad because the only thing I use my honey for is, um, I would, I would just, like, put it in my tea. I would drizzle it on top of, like, some granola on top of yogurt, maybe. Or I would drizzle it on top of granola that would be on top of, like, a smoothie bowl. So, um, this will last a long time. So, I don't really think that's... Um, expensive. I kind of wish it wasn't in the glass jar though. Um, it's kind of inconvenient because it can get a little messy. I wish they had it in a squeeze tube because that's the kind of regular honey that I used to buy. Um, PB2 is also important. Or not important I should say but it's another good thing that um, you can have on hand. Um, for a vegan lifestyle 
you can put this in your protein shakes you can put it in your nice cream you can put it in milkshakes that you want to make um you can mix peanut butter up and put it on bread to eat um just a lot of stuff um, that you can do with this um i've even make um i've mixed it up and um I, i've actually did all those things with it so um it, it really is good and i started getting the the big things because I was using so much of it and this one's actually almost gone I already bought another one um, this time I got the chocolate one because I wanted to start putting it in with my nice cream and um, to make chocolate and they didn't have it in the big one at Walmart so I had to get the smaller one so that's okay um, this is my protein powder that I'm currently using it is Vega protein and greens I uh, get it at GNC it was 30 bucks 29 something um, I read there's a couple different ones of these and I picked the one that had the best stats on so um, just make sure you read you know read labels get familiar with labels they will be your best friend um, I feel like I'm pretty good at it now. Um, of course, it says you can shake it, blend it, or bake it. I have not baked with this, and I have not shaken this one. I've only put it in my blender, so. Um, but I like it. It's a little textury, a little gritty, but not bad. I usually add something in with it, like um, frozen fruit or... Um, I haven't added the matcha in, but you could, um, for the P, PB2, so that helps offset it. Um, I kind of like to get it in a, um, a cool, um, like almost like a protein milkshake type consistency, because then you can't taste the, the texture as bad, um, and I use unsweetened almond milk. Um, unsweetened almond milk is my bae. Another good thing that you should have on hand when you are vegan is beans. Um, this isn't exactly the best kind. Um, for some reason, you cannot find low-sodium beans. They're very limited. So um, what I do is, you know, I'll open these, I'll drain them, um, and then I'll wash them and rinse them again a few times to get off all the excess sodium that I can that's in them. Because the sodium that's in these beans like that are mostly in the um, the water that's, the, the juices and stuff that they're packed in. Um, of course, you're still going to have some in the actual bean, but just by rinsing them off like that is going to help dramatically. Um, this is my favorite chickpeas are. Um, another good one would be black beans, lentils, um, which I have those in my cabinet too. I just grab one can just to emphasize beans. So, but those are three of my favorites. Um, and also kidney beans, like, um, the white or the red ones, they're also good. So, any of those. Um, I grab one other can item here. Um, it's something that I like. It's the tomatoes, okra, and corn. Um... This is good on its own, and you can also add it in to, like, rice or or um, as a side dish or anything. Um, this is not something that you have to have, obviously. Um, but I try to get a variety of things so stuff doesn't get old. Um, and I just wanted to show that, you know, there's, there's options out here for vegan. You can get canned stuff. You can get stuff in bags. You can get stuff in boxes. Frozen, fresh, you know. I think a lot of people think, um, when they think vegan, it's like, oh, it's just fruit and vegetables. Like, oh my goodness, like, what do you eat? And there is stuff to eat. Like, yes, you do have to prep and cook a little bit more, but, um, it's worth it. To me, it is. Um, this is something new that I just started getting. It's liquid aminos. Um, I got this for the sole purpose to put in my hummus in place of the tahini. Um, and that is the only thing that I've gotten this for. There's a lot of other uses that I have not used it for. 
Um, it says it's an alternative to um, soy sauce. And it's packed with a lot of essential and non-essential amino acids. Um, you can use it in... There's a lot of stuff you can use it on. Um, so I'm hoping that I, I start using it more on that. This is actually a new bottle. I have one that's open in the fridge. Um, I ordered it on Amazon. It came in a two-pack. So hopefully I can find something to uh, use it a lot more on than just hummus. Because I don't have hummus every week. Um, so, and I think only like two tablespoons goes in it, so those bottles are going to last a long time if I only use it for that. Um, rice was another good one. I just grabbed a random bag of rice. This is jasmine. I also have brown rice and I also use basan, um, bas, bas, I forget how to say it, basani, basamani <laughs> rice. I forget how to say that one, but jasmine is my favorite. Um, definitely. So, rice is rice. Um, brown rice, you know, maybe a little bit better. Um, but really, in all honesty, if you're watching your carbs, which I do try to do as well, um, you know, you should limit your rice anyway. So, a little bit of jasmine rice is, you know, it's not going to hurt you. And this just has so much more of a rich, uh, flavor. Um, especially with, um... It works well in a lot of vegan dishes, um, you know, with some coconut milk or spices. So that's why um, I grabbed the jasmine because it's my favorite. And lastly on the dry side, and then I'll get into some frozen and refrigerated items. Uh, I wanted to keep this uh, video under 30 minutes, but... It's going to probably be closer to 35. Um, Himalayan pink salt is, uh, I don't like salt at all. I used to use sea salt and I started using the pink salt, Himalayan pink salt, and I like it. I do. It's um, a little bit of a different taste, but not much. It serves its purpose for salt. Um, I'm fine without salt at all, but sometimes if I want a little boost, that's what I use. Um, and it's, it's good for you. Uh, a couple um, seasonings is important um, for vegans. I just grabbed a couple, this particular combo, along with black pepper and honey? No. Black pepper and vanilla extract is, um, and your almond milk is what you use to make your golden milk. So that's why I grabbed these three. These are all three good ones. The cinnamon, the turmeric, and the ginger. I just bought um, curry powder today. Um, I love spices. I think they're fun. I have a ton of... Actually, you can see my spice rack back in there. Like up in there. That's where all my spices are. And then I have some in the cabinets too that are bigger. So I really like spices. They're important with any kind of lifestyle diet. Um, because it just gives much more gives flavor to uh, foods um, and you can get creative with them and another favorite is vanilla extract this is not organic um, I, th I don't think Walmart had organic I cannot believe the price of vanilla extract like it's really expensive like I think this bottle was like almost 10 bucks crazy but it does a little bit goes a long way and this is also useful in a lot of things like the nice cream um, the golden milk, you know, uh, for baking. So definitely want to keep some of this on hand. And I'll be right back with the frozen and refrigerated favorites. 